want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai. Who we reverence and honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. And I want to say to Wadi Yahweh for giving me another day to come out here to teach his words. So without further ado, we're just going to flow with the spirit. When I come out here, I never write anything down. We just flow with the spirit. So we're going to start off on Jeremiah 17, 16 and 16. Behold, okay, and if you're saying behold, you're warning someone, okay, I will send for many fishes. The Lord, he's sending for many fishes. And who are the fishes? Those that are what? Doing this work. So right now we're fishing. And when you're fishing, you have to be very, very, very patient when you're fishing. It takes time. Okay. I will send for many fishes. Serve the Lord Jehovah Shai. And then you shall fish them. So that's what that's the job of the hopeful elect to fish. For what? The others that can hear this word and that can receive it. That's that's our duty to teach this word. So others can have it, they can receive it and be converted. That is our duty. Alright? Anything outside of that would be uncivilized. I will send and they shall fish them and I will send for many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. So right now we're in the process of fishing. Right? But after we're going to be turned into hunters. And that hunters doing what? The little hell bricks When we're giving that spiritual power. That's when we go hunt. We go hunt these other nations. Okay? We go hunt them out. Especially the elites that are hidden. This is what we're going to do. No two ways about it. Okay? Why? Because it's, it's prophecy. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. And from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. Once we stop fishing, which right now we're fishing, then we're going to be hunting, and it says from the holes of the rocks. Because when their missiles hit, what's going to happen? We're going to have the elites that are hiding in underground bases, underground bunkers. All right? And we go fish them out. We, we go slacker, we go hunt them out. That's when, it's, that's when it's going to be the time for vengeance. But right now we have to wait up on your way, our shake humbly. This is Malachi one. Yeah, start upon the burden of the word of the Lord, Yahweh, I was shy. It was a burden because it, it weighed on the prophets. That's why it was known as a burden, because these scriptures, it can weigh on you, it can weigh on your spirit. So it was known as what? A burden. All right? These people, they don't have any sense of humility. None. Why is it that you're going to learn? 
you people are going to learn to throw your have a shot. Of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, and you know Malachi was what a prophet, a righteous man. Okay. I have loved you, said the Lord Jehovah Shai. Jehovah Shai, yes, he has a particular nation that's loved. I mean, within, within, even within that nation, you still have an elect that's beloved. All right? Yet he's saying, where has that loved us? Because our, our people, they don't believe. They have an unfaithful mindset. Okay, that's what our people say. Where well, was I love us? That's why this is a faithless generation. Out of all our nation, there's only 134,000, one third that actually believe in this truth. The rest of our people, they don't believe in this. All right? Esau Jacob's brother said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. See, yeah, Esau was our brother, but he was not granted any repentance. He was not granted any salvation. He despised his birthright. Salvation is only granted to what? The 12 tribes of Israel. You saw the Negroes, Hispanics, and Indiana. The other nations, they're going into slavery. And I hated Esau, so the scripts are telling you he hated Esau. So that scraps that whole notion of all nations can be saved. He said he hated Esau. The law don't change. So that means yes, he's hated. Okay? And there's nothing you can do to change that. The Lord hates Esau because he was set up to be what? The wicked. And laid his mountain, heritage. Okay. His structure, his power. For the dragons of the wilderness. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to America. Okay. It's going to be left to the dragons. Of the wilderness. Alright? Where is Edom Seth? We are impoverished. And impoverished means in what? In a down in a in a downtrodden state. So yeah, Esau, he was in a he was in a bad state. During the Dark Ages. And even after that, he was in a bad, bad, bad state. Okay? Even the middle, mid, medieval period, he was in a bad state. They were impoverished. That's why they came to America for what? For land, for food, for resources. Because they were in a bad state, they were in a downtrodden state. Right? Whereas Eden said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. So this is what you see today. Esau has built up this kingdom. Which once he was in the caves. But we will return to the desert and build the desolate places. So this is why you see all these cities being built, all these towns being built. It's a product of what Esau? Bear me just a minute. So yeah, this man's kingdom is desolate, waste, okay, for the dragons. Bear me just a minute. They shall build, but I will throw down. So Esau's building again. But guess what? The Habitat is coming down. Okay. This man's in the trick bag. So Esau, yeah, he's building, but he's being thrown down. And who's throwing him down? You have a shine. Okay. This kingdom ain't gonna go on forever. The Lord is throwing this place down. 
bringing it down. And you could also equate that too far with that crate. He's building up that crate, but your hand's just going to throw it down. And then you shall call him the border of wickedness. Because anywhere Esau sets his feet, that's where there's wickedness. Anywhere this man goes, wickedness follows him. And the people against who the Lord have indignation forever. And indignation means righteous anger, righteous judgment. So, Yahweh, he does not change. That indignation is upon Esau forever. Forever. Okay? He was created to be the wicked, ain't gonna change. Drugs. That's why people are homeless. Because the wicked are ruling. So if you don't know, now you know. This is not a righteous kingdom. This is this this is the most wicked kingdom. This is the most wicked kingdom. Yet. And you see what's going on. The latest. Facebook closed down. I don't go on that rubbish anyway. So that don't really bother me. Facebook, what was it? WhatsApp? Which I'm not on WhatsApp anymore. I've been removed from WhatsApp anyway. Brothers removed me from the chat because I'm no longer in the camp. Okay, so I don't go on that rubbish. That doesn't bother me. Okay, and all these things are going to be removed anyway. Okay. But these were what? Signs of what? Things are happening. That's all done by design. What's the reason I'm doing police of is what pressing the waters? To see how people react. It's going to be the same with everything else. All these other platforms. Because the internet's going to be there. The internet's going to be there. Because you have the internet of things, you have the grid. 
So, to have this structure of the R5D chip, you're going to need these things. You're going to need it into them. This is part of that structure. Yeah, you're not going to have access to it. Unless you have the chip. It's the only time you're going to have access. And that's what it's getting to. So I want to go into bear me just a minute. We know what Esau's doing. We're not ignorant to his device. That's why you've got to get this word now. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? This is Daniel's 12. My dog Daniel. Shut up the words. Alright? Shut up the words. And seal the book. Give it to the time. The end. So this was said during what Daniel's time. Okay, in the time of what the Babylonian captivity, or should I say, the Medo-Persian captivity. Okay. So the book was sealed. Even to the time of the end. And the time of the end was when Yahweh came on the scene, and that's when what this knowledge was what expounded unto us. Oh, said so, okay. Many shall run to and fro. Okay. So this is the time of the end. And you're gonna have people what running to and fro to get this word. Okay, and knowledge shall be increased. So more in the time of knowledge, it's out there. And it's being increased. You can't say you ain't heard this. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? You can't say you ain't heard this word because you've got brothers in what different cities, different states, different lands teaching this word. So you, you, you can't say you ain't heard it. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come. Okay, say the Lord Jehovah Yahweh Okay, which are now. Okay, which are approaching. Say the Lord power. Behold, I will send the famine. So a famine is a, a, short, a shortage of something. It doesn't mean cut. It doesn't mean completely out of something. It means a shortage. Okay. I will send the famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, which is this, this is going to happen. Okay. But it's got, it's zoning in on what, a particular famine. All right. A famine of bread, not a thirst for water. But a hearing of the words of the Lord Yahweh Shai. See, that's what that famine's going to be. It's going to be of a hearing of the words of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. That's what I'm out here to warn you of what's about to happen. And they shall run to and fro. Why are they going to be running to and fro? Because they're going to be looking for answers. That's why it says they shall run to and fro. Because people are going to be confused. They're going to want to know why all these things are happening. To seek the word of the Lord, Jehovah Shai, they shall not find it. So, why were they not find it? Because we wouldn't be accessible. And the men that are not a part of this world, a part of this system, they're gonna be off the grid, so you're not, you're not gonna find them. You will not find them. All right? You're gonna be gone. And people are gonna be saying, oh, them guys that were on the street corners, they were right. Everything they said, that it was right, it was true. But you're not going to be able to find us. 
So when you had that chance of repentance, you didn't want to get service. The doors of mercy, they're still open. They're still open right now. If you're willing to humble yourself, take heed to these words and pre adventure, you may be safe. There's only a wise man's going to humble himself to these words. If you're wise. If you're not wise, you're, not going, to, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to scoff, you're going to mock. Only to your destruction. Ain't the time for, ain't, this ain't the time for games, man. I'm fairly the mouth of the righteous speaking wisdom. That's what we're supposed to be speaking. Wisdom. Okay. Declaring wisdom. Alright. And it's done. Talking about judgment. I'm not talking of the judgments, we're professing the judgments of Yahweh Shah, what he's going to bring to this kingdom. And it's not going to be nice, the judgment she's bringing. It's not going to be nice. It's going to be horrible. The law of his power is in his heart. So the law of our power, which is Yahweh Shai, is in our hearts. It's in our minds. Why? Because we rehearse the righteous acts. So the laws are in our minds. None of his steps shall slide. Because that's what happens when you're preoccupied on the things of the spirit. None of his steps shall slide. So the elect are the elect. And nothing going to change them. Okay? The elect are the elect. Nothing is going to change them. The wicked watcheth the righteous to slay him. So yeah, we know the wicked are watching us. Okay? We know that. I seek him to slay him. But guess what you can't? Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Let me just a minute. Have a look at this. Get used to seeing that as well. Because we're coming into that time as well, persecution. All these things you've got to prepare yourself for. Okay, right now they're driving past now. But, yeah. It's going to be a time where the spirit of them is what against what the prophets. All these things you've got to prepare yourself for. Okay. Accusers, 
Bak ben kuş mu kusuz? No condemning when he is judged. Why? Because Yahushai has not imputed the iniquity to the elect. Alright? The elect have to show mercies of David. So they'll never be condemned. Because they have them show mercies. Alright? That's what, that's, that's what we strive for. That mercy. And the signs of that you can show mercy. Because you're going to have the his word. In its entirety. That's the sign that you've been shown mercy. You've been able to teach his word. Freely. Not holding back. That's the sign of mercy. Verse 34. Wait on the Lord. So this is what we ought to do. We have to wait. Be patient. Oh, that's spiritual because the practice of that pastor said, Lord, as well. Wait on the Lord, Yahweh and the double eye, that's the spirit. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't make this up. Baby, just a minute. You can't make this up. You see that track right there? What does it say? Lord. Okay. Wait upon the eye. You can't make this up. See, wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Okay. And he's filled it. We have no choice. Okay. Wait on the Lord and keep his way. So when you're keeping his way, we're keeping the Lord your chest testimonies. So we're gonna wait on him and we're gonna keep his testimony, his words, the precepts, to the best of our ability. Even though brothers may go off in the flesh, we're gonna keep it to the best of our ability. And he shall exhort thee to inherit the land. Okay, what's that land? The land of Israel. Before we inherit it, that land has to be destroyed. Because you've got a bunch of gutter rats gut in that land. Defiling it. Right? And he shall exhort you to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off and thou shalt see it. So for us to exalt that land, the wicked need to be cut off first. Esau needs to be taken out of that land. Then we will, then we will be um, we will dwell in that land. That's why the scriptures tell you in Isaiah, we're not supposed to be in that land right now. Bear me just a minute. We're not supposed to be in that land of Israel because you got. The foolish of my people that are actually in that land. Okay. You got the wicked old people that are in that land where they shouldn't be. Because if they were actually reading the scriptures, they would not force themselves in that land. I'm talking about our own people. That are talking about them trips to what Israel. What the scriptures talk about. We want to inhabit the land when Yahweh comes back. Let's you fire in the prophecy. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 2. The word, of, the word that Isaiah son of Amos saw returning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last day, so if it shall come to pass, that means it still needs to happen. That the mountain of the Lord Jehoshua's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. So what's the mountain of the Lord's house? The mountain of money. That's, that has to be established. That, that has not happened yet. It needs to be established. All right. In the top of the mountains. And the mountains represent the government. All right. And it shall be exalted. So Jehoshua's government it's going to be what? Above all. Okay. Above the hills. And all the nations shall flow unto it. So when nations are flowing unto it, what does that mean? Tributes. Slaves. 
the other nations, what, they're going to be tribute to us. They're going to be our slaves. They're going to pay tribute to them. That's what it means to flow. What is flow? Traffic. Okay. That's what it is, traffic. So when you see traffic, what's that? Currency. Traffic is what? Currency as well. Okay. So when you hold up traffic, you're holding up what? The economy. All right. And many people shall go and say, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh Shai. So the other nations, they're gonna, they're, going to, they're gonna want to be pulled over by us. They're gonna say, come ye, let us go to the house of the Lord Yahweh Shai. And a house is a body. Not just so much a temple, it's a body, and the body is a temple. The physical temple and the church as well is a body. Alright? The house of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. So I'm not going to teach the other nations our ways, which is what in the scriptures. Basically, the last statutes and commandments. We're going to teach them that. It's going to be embedded in them. And guess what? You're not, you're not going to have, you're not going to have any choice. You're going to have to. And if you don't learn our ways, guess what? You're going to get beat. You're going to get chastised. You're going to learn our ways in the kingdom. Okay. Because right now we can't implement these things. Because you've got Esau and his laws protecting flames. Okay. Transgenders. Wickedness. But we're going to implement everything in the kingdom. Everything. And he shall judge among the nations. Who? You have a shy. Because he's the ultimate judge. He's going to be judging among the nations. And shall rebuke many nations. So you have a shy, he's going to rebuke the nations. Alright? It's the Bible. Alright then? Yeah, the Bible. Yes. Yeah. It's the Bible. King James Version. Yeah, I have Okay. I have one hundred Polish, USA, Russian, Ukraine, okay. English. Yeah. I read. Stick, stick with the King James, it's the most accurate. Yeah. Yeah. So you're from Eastern Europe? Yeah, you're on the side. The Eastern Europe, you're on the side, you're part of this tribe, one of these tribes. Of Israel, a lot of Yugoslavians, Ukrainians, oh, yeah, yeah. Polish, the Slavs, the reason why they were just Slavs, because they were what? Slaves! Okay, yeah. just like the Negroes, so we uh, suffer the same things that we suffer. We suffer. No, my English, very small. Okay. Very small. But yeah, you're on, you're on the side that salvation is for you. You know, if this word resonates with you, if it resonates with your mind. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one moment. No, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't, this is precious, right? Yeah, you can't. What would you want to know? Two, what do you say? 
six and three and I appeared unto Abraham unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of the Most High Almighty but by my name not Je it's not Jehovah Jehovah nah, is God no 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 there's no J's in the Hebrew Jehovah there's is no God J, there's no J's in the Hebrew there's no J's in the yes there's no J J never came round to the Jehovah is God. thing no 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 you need to repent his name is Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai he right. delivers. Okay, you have a shout. Remember that name. It's not Jehovah. It's not Jesus. Yes. It's not Jehovah. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Jehovah. Uh, Jesus. No, is no, 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 no. Jehovah salvation. No. Jesus. No. It's Yahweh Shai. Okay. Right. Was I known to them? No, okay. So we're done with that. Is that what you want? All right. Okay. You just, all right. You can have your little, have your little win, have your little victory. Okay. That's all right. You know, sometimes you just gotta let people, you know. Have the little thing, but his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, the first scripture says our people have they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So our people they have a passion for this truth, but it's not according to the true knowledge of the scriptures. Now his name is Yahweh Shai. That's why you've got to get into what the Hebrew. Okay, he just wanted his sometimes you just gotta let people have the little carnal victory. Okay. But yes, his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Bear me just a minute. So yeah, all these nations are gonna bow down. Isaiah. Go back to Isaiah 2. Isaiah 2. <laughs> Man's got a hundred Bibles. No, no wonder he's confused. A hundred Bibles. Go. Let's go to Isaiah. Two. And we got on verse 4. And he shall judge among the nations. So Yahushua, he's going to be the one that's doing the judging. Okay. Amongst all these other nations. And we're also going to be judging as well. Because we're going to be joint mourners. We're going to be joint players. Okay. And what are we going to be judging the nations with? The laws. Okay. That's how we're going to govern the people. That's why it's, it is important to rehearse the laws. That's why we're rehearsing it right now. Because this is what we're going to be using to judge the nations. The law. Okay. And shall rebuke many people. So yes. <laughs> we also don't be rebuking many people. Bear with just a minute. Okay. We're going to be rebuking many people. And what are we going to be rebuking them with? The world. Okay. That's what we're going to be rebuking the people with. This word. Okay. The nations. Okay. We're going to have taskmasters. Even over the other nations. Alright. They shall beat their swords into plowshares. The plowshares are farming Israel, farming tongues, tongues. And they're going to be doing that to what? To build up, to cultivate our land. That's why they're going to be beating their swords into plowshares, to cultivate our land. Alright? And it's burst into pruning hooks, which is speaking instrumentals. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn more anymore so that's what prophecy that's a prophecy that we shouldn't be in that land right now and in God they shouldn't be in that land as well it's all according to prophecy all right and they shall learn more they shall learn more anymore they shall not learn more anymore so you are not going to have war in that land okay but you got you got missiles all up in Gaza. Alright? You got them missiles up in Gaza. So that's not according 
the prophecy of what I'm reading. Because the scripture says, Thou shalt learn war, no war. So there shouldn't be war according to the prophecy. There shouldn't be war.